Finches are quintessential songbirds. Many of them are brightly colored, and most have complex, ear-pleasing songs. But if there is a single characteristic that can be said to unite the finches, it is their rather short, conical bills, which are superbly adapted to extracting and opening seeds. That's not to say that every bird with a seed-cracking bill is a finch. Buntings and cardinals have finch-like bills, as do cowbirds. And at least two of our finches, the crossbills, have bills that depart rather radically from the norm. Finches also have a tendency toward gregariousness. One often sees them feeding and flying overhead in noisy, chattering bunches. Because of this penchant for flocking and their seed-eating habits, finches are favorites at bird feeders everywhere, beginning with our most well-known member of the finch family, the American goldfinch. Everyone recognizes male goldfinches in their bright canary yellow breeding plumage, which they wear until late summer. By fall, they mold into a much duller set of feathers, looking more like the females. Casual feeder watchers often wonder where their bright yellow goldfinches have gone. In reality, the same goldfinches are likely still there, just in disguise. American goldfinches sing a breezy, canary-like song, especially in spring. But their most commonly heard vocalizations are an inquisitive, rising twee and a TDD or potato chip, often given in flight. Look and listen to your goldfinches carefully, and you may discover another small finch, the pine siskin. They look like a streaky version of the American goldfinch, but with a more slender bill and a pair of bright yellow wing bars. Even more obvious are their calls. A buzzy shree, or a loud chilip. In the southwest, you can find two other goldfinches. The lesser goldfinch occurs from Oregon to Texas. Most male lesser goldfinches have a greenish back, but those in the southern and eastern parts of their range are usually black-backed. The handsome Lawrence's goldfinch is primarily a California specialty, but wanders a bit in winter. Let's change from yellow to red and step up slightly in size to look at another trio of finches, the house finch, purple finch, and Cassin's finch. These three birds are superficially similar in appearance, and many casual birders are tempted to call any red finch they see a purple finch, but at most feeders in North America, house finches are more common. Adult male purple finches are suffused with a raspberry red, not purple, over much of their upper parts, but have plain white flanks and bellies. All ages and sexes have fairly short tails with a sharp notch in the end. Adult male house finches are heavily streaked on their flanks and bellies, a handy distinction from purple and cassins. Their color is highly variable, often brick red, but sometimes orange or even yellow. All house finches have smaller bills and longer, less notched tails than purple or cassins. Cassins finches, which are primarily birds of the Rocky Mountains, have the biggest, straightest bills of this trio. The brightest red on an adult male cassins finch is usually concentrated on the crown and forehead, with the chest tending toward paler pink. Beyond these familiar red and yellow finches is a group of northern and high elevation species that includes grosbeaks, redpolls, crossbills, and rosy finches. Some of these are among North America's most wanted birds. Fortunately, these species are eruptive. They periodically move out of their core ranges, coming south or down slope, and even appearing at feeding stations. When a flock of evening grosbeaks descends on your bird feeders, you'll know it. They can eat a month's supply of sunflower seed in a day, and their loud ringing calls are hard to ignore. Pine grosbeaks are more sedate and less gregarious than evening grosbeaks. They enjoy feeding on the fruits of crab apples and other ornamental trees in addition to seeds and pine cones. Red poles are smaller than goldfinches and have distinctive red caps, black faces, and tiny bills. Telling hoary from common red pole is something even the experts argue about. Very briefly, horys tend to be paler, 
with a more pushed-in look to their bills and faces, and more northerly in their distribution. Rosy finches spend a lot more time on the ground than in trees, being birds of alpine and tundra habitats. Brown-capped, black, and gray-crowned rosy finches are the three currently recognized species. All three can sometimes be found in winter at feeding stations in mountain towns of the west. Our two crossbills are named for, you guessed it, their uniquely shaped bills. They're actually well adapted for extracting the seeds from cones of pine, spruces, and firs. Males of both species are red. Females and young are more yellow-green. White wing crossbills, as their name suggests, have prominent white wing bars. The finch family has a lot going for it, with bright colors, beautiful songs, and many members who are familiar backyard birds. But it may be their habit of roaming seasonally and showing up unpredictably that makes them most exciting to birders.